Hey everybody! Happy Friday! It's Friday here. I have no idea if it's Friday when you're watching this. But uh, it's a happy Friday for me. I hope it's a good Friday, whatever. The coming up Friday for you, last Friday, whatever. I'm out here today trying something completely new. Uh, I'm out here trying to take pictures of fish. Why not? Fish are wildlife, right? So I came out here, I brought the 600 F4 Nikon D850, and I'm at one of my favorite places in the world out here, Flat Creek. It's a fantastic creek filled with big, giant, beautiful cutthroat trout. And I've been coming out here for like 40 years. So uh, we're just outside of the town of Jackson here in Wyoming. And when I first learned to fly fish, this was like one of the first places uh, my dad took me and I used to come out here as a kid and I've been coming out here all through adulthood. I'm a avid fly fisherman. Not as much as I used to be now that I do photography all the time, but I used to get out and fish here all the time. And uh, I love this place out here. Uh, the fish are big and really smart, so it's very challenging fishing and I love that. You use like light, like a three-weight rod and 6X tippet, little tiny bugs out here, and then you catch big cutthroats. So uh, it's a wonderful place to fly fish out here. But I thought I'd come out here and enjoy a little photography. So I've, uh, I've seen some photos out there of like fish coming up to eat flies, you know, on a beautiful like flat, calm spring creek. And uh, you'll see a little bug drifting in and a fish with its mouth open or something like that. So I know people do this and I've seen some fantastic stuff out there and I thought I'd come out and give it a try. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I, I love trying new things and experimenting and playing and having fun. So my plan here with the 600 F4, I, I'd like to find a feeding fish. There's like all these undercut banks out here and uh, lots of great places where fish feed. And uh, so I was hoping to come out here and find a feeding fish and then just kind of get myself in the right spot, get the lens on them, and uh, make that photo. Uh, I do have a polarizing filter. There's a drop-in filter spot on this lens. So this little thing right here uh, is a polarizing filter. Uh, I can't quite do it with one hand. Anyway, there that pops out. So this is a little polarizing filter and uh, you spin that little knob and it spins the circular polarizer. So that's kind of what I'm doing to take the glare off of the water so that hopefully I can see into the water enough to be able to get a decent photo of a fish if I'm able to actually find that kind of situation and make that happen. So. Uh, my setup here is I'm going to be probably wide open at f4 because that polarizer blocks a little of the light. Maybe a stop and a half, two stops of light. Uh, I'm going to crank up the ISO. Even though it's bright, bright light out here, I want a fast shutter speed. And uh, so I'm going to be shooting probably at ISO 800, f4, maybe f5, and adjusting that polarizer so I can, you know, filter that glare and see into the water a little bit. Uh, I think it's going to be challenging. I was trying to find a bug on the water and follow it down and, you know, get it right as the fish is opening its mouth. Uh, I'm under no delusion that this is going to be an easy thing to do out here, but uh, I'm going to come give it a try. There's only one way to get it, and that's to try. So that's what I'm planning on doing out here today. Uh, I'll check in with you in a bit. I'm going to get started and go wander around and see if I can find some feeding fish, and then um, we'll talk more about it once that happens, okay? So thanks for following along with me here today. Let's do it.
update from the field is this is pretty hard. <laughs> uh, so I've uh, I made a couple of photos out here. Um, I was practicing. So the main thing I was I was worried about is tracking like a little bug as it's floating down the water with a 600 f4. Uh, will the autofocus be able to? you know, do a reasonably good job and will I be able to do a reasonably good job? And it is very difficult, but I was just practicing on like bubbles and bugs going by and uh, getting better. You know, the more you practice, the better you get at it. Uh, I met a friend out here um, who just had a little time to come out before dinner and do some fishing. So he came out and I was tracking his bug as it was floating through the water and I did manage to, he, he hooked a fish there, and I did manage to make a couple of photos that are like on the right track for what I'm after. Uh, they certainly weren't like, yeah, I did it out here. Uh, nothing even close to that, but I'll show you those here in a second. And I think you'll be able to see like his bug coming in and then a fish like, underwater getting close to it and then the next frame was like he had eaten the bug and there was a splash kind of going on and uh, so that's kind of you know along the vein of what I'm after out here I think in a perfect world I would want either a natural bug or a fly fisherman's bug with like you know the fish with its mouth open in nice light you know so you can see with really flat water so uh, I'm kind of learning as I go out here on, on what I'm looking for and uh, it's a challenge, which is great. But at least I did get to make a few images and get to kind of learn and uh, do some trial and error out here today. And uh, the day's not over. I still got, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes before the sun goes behind the mountain over here. And I'm gonna keep working on it, looking this way so we get some light along this bank over here where I can, uh, you know, if, if a fish comes out from under the cut bank to eat, you know, just like my hands in the shadow here, it will come out and be lit up and then it'll go back under that bank kind of a thing. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep, keep working on it out here. That's the latest update from the field. I made a few photos, been practicing tracking bugs along the water and uh, learning, learning that this is not gonna be easy mostly, but uh, I'm gonna keep trying, keep learning. Okay, here we go. All right, we finally got some bugs hatching out here. It's been tough, um, not many feeding fish. The bugs haven't been out, but if you look, now I've got just a minute or well, a couple of minutes of light left before the sun goes behind the mountain there. But I've got some nice backlit uh, mayflies of some kind. And I'm actually taking pictures of backlit mayflies out here. So uh, they're kind of coming in waves and the fish are feeding right down in here. Um, but they're, these backlit mayflies, I'm actually kind of having a fun little photo project with them. And uh, so I'm looking for a nice dark background like at the edge of these banks here. And then uh, with the backlight coming in when this uh, thick wave of the bugs comes through, I'm taking pictures of those bugs. And uh, that's kind of fun. So today is kind of fishtography and bugtography and playing and experimenting, trying new things, having fun. I'm gonna keep working on these backlit mayflies that are out here. I don't, you, you can't see those, I'm sure. Maybe you can. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm gonna work on here, I think until the sun goes down. Because uh, the light, the angle here isn't good anymore for trying to get fish. So I'll give you a quick rundown. Uh, no, I'm gonna photograph these bugs and then I'll come back when we're done and do a, a little follow up. So yeah, back to these bugs. Bye bye. Got about 60 seconds of light left out here. So I better mention, real quick, uh, please visit my website, stevemathis.com, to learn more about my workshops. So I do year-round private workshops here in the Tetons, Grand Teton National Park, uh, and I'm doing a Yellowstone winter workshop in January and a East Africa workshop in February. So uh, if any of that interests you, please go to my website. There'll be a link below and uh, check that stuff out. And in the meantime here, I guess I over or underestimated it. There's more than 30 seconds of light left. But uh, anyway, I'll wrap it up then since I'm here rambling on already. So 
Uh, I guess I didn't really make any great images. I didn't really honestly expect to out here today with the fish. Uh, it was a uh, my first crack at trying to make a nice photo of a fish. Kind of visualized in my head, uh, you know, a bug floating down the river and a fish coming up and uh, eating it and being able to uh, use the polarizing filter here to kind of see through under the water to see the fish. And uh, just w didn't didn't work today. Um, I didn't have a lot of bug activity and a lot of active fish. And also, I think I realized I need to be out here in midday, like the brightest, harshest sunlight, uh, which isn't usually ideal for wildlife photography, but I think that will be what will work best for this kind of photography. So uh, I learned a bunch of things out here. Uh, one about the light, come out in midday. Um, Got to have some bugs, good activity. I want to find the flattest water that I can, so all these little ripples and stuff are going to make it much more difficult to focus and to see the fish and all that. So I got to look for some really calm water. If any of you have any like access to private spring creeks in the area and want to invite me out to photograph fish, let me know. That'd be awesome. Uh, but I'm going to come back out here. And uh, I'm going to put this video out, even though I didn't make any great photos. I think it kind of it will help kind of show the process of trying something new and learning and failing. Failing. I don't know if I failed or not. I didn't make any great photos of fish today, but I learned a lot. I made progress towards hopefully making some nice photos in the future. And uh, I think my best photo today is going to be of some mayflies, just a swarm of mayflies that are backlit out here. So... Uh, that's it. I hope you enjoy the photo of the mayflies and the very mediocre. I'm going to show you my, like, bad images of the fish that I took out here. A fish just jumped. Where was that? Right over there. I could hear it. Uh, I'll show you the photos. We all make not-so-great photos, and um, I'm going to show them to you anyways today. So thanks for sitting through this one. There's going to be one photo at the end of this of some mayflies. Enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Bye.